The CrossFit Games season is upon us, and the first open workout is a redo. For some athletes, it's a re-redo. Last year, hundreds if not thousands of competitors miscounted their shuttle runs, effectively only doing half of the quarterfinal workout. Some of you knuckleheads are probably watching this video right now. Then, at the Games, elite athletes biked the wrong number of laps. We addressed this in a wrap on the Parker Report. Crop top. You gotta bike five laps, don't stop. Someone get these guys an abacus. These damn jocks suck at counting worse than Dracula. So I thought, surely that would be the end of that. As everybody knows, there's nothing more effective at tightening policies and correcting logistical errors than the power of song. Well, I guess I was wrong. Maybe the new CEO hasn't watched my video. CrossFit loaded the bars incorrectly for the female athletes doing 21.3 during the broadcast, which means their scores are invalid. Can anyone in this sport count? We do 21.15 9s, we deadlift 315, which is seven items weighing 45, we row a 2K while watching our 500 meter split. Numbers are kind of our whole thing. If I was a conspiracy theorist, which I am, I'd point out that Laser Dude was involved in the bike debacle and was present during the open plate mishap. Coincidence? I think not. Okay, let's talk about this workout. 23.1 is a redo of an event from 2014, but if a tree falls in the forest and the tree is a workout, and the people who did the first tree, but the, the people who are hearing this workout fall um, are new, we can cut this, right? My point is, for a lot of CrossFitters, this is not a redo. So if this is your first time doing this workout, here's some advice. For most athletes, the limiting factor here is gonna be the gymnastics, the toes to bar exercise. And if you hustle enough to get there, the muscle up. That's not to discount the barbell cleans. 30 reps of snatches is already a whole ass CrossFit workout named Isabel. And now they're saying, hey, do something similar, but in the middle of a 14 minute long workout. So try to keep your arms relaxed and use your legs to jump the weight up. I also like to keep a towel nearby to wipe away sweat from my grip and tears from my eyes. For the toes to bar, here's an easy progression that can get your body in the right pattern for the movement. From a low bar, do some knee tucks, leg lifts, and tuck kicks up towards the bar. Try to keep your leg in a straight path instead of twisting your toes out to the side. Maybe you're trying to get some muscle ups in this workout. The main mistake people make is thinking that it's just a big pull up. In reality, you need to press the rings down and pivot on top of them. Here's a band pull down and a band assisted transition drill that might help. Good luck to everyone doing these workouts. The next few weeks will be a chance to push yourself, learn and have fun. Oh, and if shuttle runs come up in week two, count your reps properly.